Yeah, that's right. We got a copy of the memo from the police chief. It basically bans all chases unless the suspect is involved in a violent crime. And right here is where this chase ended. You can still see some of the marks on the concrete right here. And we are told that the suspect was driving this way on Bomb Boulevard and was as he was approaching the stoplight, saw the car is backed up right there. So he went into the other lane of traffic, smashing right into the front of a car with a couple inside who are just here to visit their daughter. Five people hurt in this violent crash, and authorities now saying it started with nothing more than a motor vehicle violation. A motor vehicle pursuit puts everybody at risk in harm's way. Elizabeth Penninger with the Citizens Police Review Board is concerned about how this chase unfolded. Pittsburgh police say they first tried to pull over the Chevy in Larimer, but the driver took off. They chased it to Bomb Boulevard in Bloomfield, where the suspect crossed into opposing traffic. Police were right behind it when the car smashed into an Audi coming the other way. Three people in the suspect's car were hurt. A 23 year old man driving, a 12 year old girl in the back seat who's now said to be in critical condition, and a 16 year old in the front. The front seat passenger was entrapped in the vehicle. Um, first responders did have to cut her out. The two victims in the Audi, a Wexford couple, suffered only minor injuries. Now we've learned police are making changes. Chief Cam McClay sent a memo obtained by Pittsburgh's Action News 4 to officers today saying that too often chases are putting the public in greater danger. The chief banning all chases unless the officer has reason to believe the suspect is involved in a quote violent felony crime. And it's important to note police said they found a couple of suspicious items in that suspect's car including body armor, police scanners and ski masks. So it's not clear exactly what that man and those two young girls had planned for the night. As of right now though, no charges have been filed. Reporting live in Bloomfield, Bob Hayes in Pittsburgh's Action News 4.